Like every elephant, Bosco spent all his spare time reading timetables, dictionaries, encyclopedias, and the farmer's almanac. One day, his old friend, Buddy Boy, rushed in all out of breath. Guess what? I got a job lined up for you. Professor Weinstein needs an elephant to work in his electronic computer. Oh, gee, that's wonderful, old buddy. Tell you what I'm going to do. As your exclusive agent, we split 50-50. You get 50 cents out of every 50 bucks, OK? <laughs> buddy boy, you're a real friend. When do we start? Right now. Come on. Time's a-wasting. So Bosco went to work at Professor Weinstein's Electronic Computer Emporium. How does it feel so far, Bosco? <laughs> it kind of tickles. Well, gentlemen, we are now in business. Aha! Here comes our first customer. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, what can we do for you? Uh, this is uh, my finest invention, Leo the robot. But I can't get him to do tricks. Uh, what should I do to him? You get your answer in two milliseconds. Uh, step up his synchro resonance, three micro units. Cut down his angstrom to 95 and twist his nose. Mm. The three, the 95. Hey, wait, that will be five dollars. Thank you. Good work, Bosco. Uh, thanks, boss. That was easy. Here comes another one, Professor. How can I fly to Venus without getting belted by the Van Allen belt? And make it fast. I'm on my vacation. All right already. Everybody is the rush, rush, rush. Um, go, go, nor go north, northeast. Uh, no, no, pa past the azimuth at 85 degrees. Turn left at the moon and use your zip code. Roger. I'm a little short of cash, but I'll send you a postcard from the Milky Way. Geronimo! Ah, a deadbeat. A fine thing. Well, that's business. Win a little, lose a little. Hey, Professor, I got a sticky problem for your computer. So, what is it? I run a Swiss cheese factory. I want to know how many holes should I use for maximum profit. I uh, use just enough cheese to hold the holes together and watch out for the cops. Wonderful. Say, you got a swell machine here. Mind if I see what makes it tick? Sorry, it's private. Hey, come back. Well, well, what do you know? Trees and a balloon, nice and soft. Yike! A snake! My goodness! A mouse! Oh no! No! Ah! It's okay, Bosco. The mouse is gone. Speak to me, Bosco. Hey, boss, he's fainted. Get the smelling salts. Ah, smelling salts yet. A nurse made for elephants. Here, sniff good. <laughs> Boss, he's coming too. Uh, wh where am I? You're fine, Bosco, old pal. Who are you? Who's me? I'm your old friend, Buddy Boy. It's no good. I think he's got amnesia. Oh, that's okay, long as he ain't lost his memory. We have to run off a few tests to see how serious this is. Bosco, Bosco. Hey, Boy, th that's you. That's your name. My name? Yes, yes, Bosco, listen to me. Pay attention. Uh... That's right. Listen to the professor. Go ahead, boss. He's okay. So, what is the capital of Denmark? 1066 at the Battle of Hastings? Or was it 1766? Oh, no. A doomkopf. Come on now, Bosco. Try real hard. Give him an easy one, professor. All right. So what's two and two? Come on, Bosco, think. Think hard. Uh, 44? No, no, 39. Oh, no. What are we going to do, boss? He's in a state of profound mousitis with a mental block. I'll look into it. Hold up his other ear. There, you see? He's got mouse on the way. Is that serious, Professor Hay? Could be. Anyhow, I, I try my secret weapon against pernicious amnesia. The atomic neuroprobe. Hold on. Isn't that dangerous? No more dangerous than the cycloparabolic neutralizer. You have my word. Okay. That's good enough for me. All right. So hold his head steady. I got to make a good contact. This will hurt a little. Don't worry, old pal. This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Countdown. Drei, zwei, ein, contact. Uh, where am I? 
This is most unfortunate. Try to remember who you are. Never mind who I am. The question is, what am I doing on top of this mountain? Huh? Uh, mountain? Uh, Mount Everest is 27 feet high. So Bosco lost his job, and we find the two friends slowly wending their way home. Well, here we are, slowly wending our way home. With my memory gone, how are we ever going to find our way home in the dark? Don't worry, I know the way home. Can't miss. <laughs> Hey, stranger, what are we doing in this here creek? I wished I knew, mister. I wished I knew. Which proves the truth of that old saying, memory lane is a dead-end street. <laughs>